Hey guys, what's up? Sermon 11 here. I'm sorry that I didn't really tell you um, which anime series I was keeping up with for the um, spring season of 2014. I'll probably do that later, um, hopefully in the next week, because if I don't do it in within the next week, I'll be kind of behind. Because some of the animes are airing next week, so I can still put the video out then, but after that it'll be late. But uh, today I have a review of the first episode of the anime known as Haikyuu. Haikyuu. Is it like the um, Japanese poetry name, I believe? Is it like that? I'm not sure. This is a volleyball-based anime. The manga came out a few years ago, I believe. I remember it coming out not too long ago, so I think it's still... Uh, still uh, I can't talk. It's still a fairly new series. Um, it's still ongoing, which is a good thing. It's in Shonen Jump, and animes are coming out faster these days because I remember this being somewhat new. So far, it's cool. Um, I think to go anywhere and not be boring, they're gonna have to get uh, they're gonna have to get more specialized skills or some special powers, or they'll just be like smacking the ball back and forth, and that's not even interesting in real life. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think we got the main character's backstory already. I think we pretty much covered everything. And um, if if the author wanted to cover, if the author wanted to put more things in there, I, I think it wouldn't really fit. And it's nice to get the main character's backstory right away. You know, like why he's into volleyball and everything. So the episode starts off with Sho and his team going on to the. Um, volleyball court and he's describing the volleyball net as a tall wall and like w wondering what's on the other side and I like that because it's very novelish and that's not a word but you get my point you know it sounds like it would come out of a novel and graphic novels are more about showing rather than explaining and I like that the main character is saying something that sounds somewhat deep um, about this sport and the episode has two time skips, if I'm correct. Um, one which I'm about to tell you about, and the other one which is later in the episode. So, sh so Sho stops in front of an electronics store, and he sees a volleyball game going on. He's watching a volleyball game on the TV, and this sparks an interest in the sport. Then there's a three-year, it's, uh, I believe it's three years and three months for the time skip. And he's, like, in middle school now. But his school doesn't have a volleyball club, so he's forced to either join the girls' team, train by himself, or just go into another sport. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually telling you telling you this in the correct order. The episode doesn't really go in this order. Um, the author did a good job of switching from the past to the present, and I like that. But, yeah, you, you sort of get the flashbacks throughout the first episode, and... If you haven't watched the first episode yet, why are you watching this? Um, go ahead and go watch and come back to my review. His team isn't that good, but they eventually make it to a tournament and they have to face a taller and stronger team. They really emph emphasize that the other team is taller for some reason. And it's one of those situations where the main character is really strong and passionate about the sport, and but it almost seems like his teammates are tagging along uh, just to be with him or just because he asked and with the flashbacks in the episode it almost felt like that so Sho gets a stomach ache and he has to use the bathroom and then he runs into his opponents who pick on him but there's this other guy who's the other main character of the series his name is Tobio I'm not sure if it was stated in the episode so I'm just gonna I looked it up his name's Tobio and he's a member of the other team his um, he has a title and he's known as the king of the court and then Tobio, he kind of goes off on his teammate to, uh, I, I'm talking too fast. Tobio kind of goes off on his teammates for talking to a uh, show like that because he said, you guys aren't even on the bench, so, like, um, why are you riding on our reputation and you're not even doing anything? That's basically kind of what he said. And I, I like how he, um, he stood up for this kid, but he also got into an argument with him. Like, he... I think he kind of um, felt like what they were doing was wrong, and then Tobio and Shogun to like an argument about who's going to win and about who's going to be the best in volleyball and everything. And
then what was the point of the flashbacks with the teammates like how they join the team and everything if they're not going to be involved if you uh watch the opening and the ending the teammates that are on the team right now i don't see any of them i don't know if they grew longer hair or something but it's kind of like the same situation with Inzuma 11 not all the original teammates are there if you like skip through the the openings or uh yeah if you skip through the openings to like um if you skip to different Inazuma 11 openings, you can see that some of the teammates aren't there. You skip to, um, not openings, different episodes, you can see, like, different teammates are missing. And with this, uh, some of the teammates are going to be missing, too. They aren't going to be with Show, so I, I don't know. But I guess they aren't really that impor important to the plot or anything. And another thing that I liked about this episode even when they're losing show is still being nice he's still being passionate about the sport you know he's telling them it's okay we'll get them next time I like that because you don't really see things like that in real life um, not well like from my sports experiences uh, you don't really see that in real life you don't see uh, someone failing and someone's still praising you for that um, he has a great attitude about the sport and I really do respect the character for that and I said this before, but it's really nice. You know, we're getting flashbacks while the match is going on, and it flows very well. And um, it's an interesting twist that the main character shows great skills, but those skills aren't enough, and he actually loses the volleyball game. Because um, in Kuriko's basketball, I think they won their first game. And you should go ahead and check that anime out if you haven't seen it already. And another sports anime I've seen is free. And I'm not sure what ha I forgot what happened in the first uh, swimming match in free, but yeah. And they're just getting dominated in this game, and they're only getting points by uh, the other team missing. And even with shows speed and in incredible jumping power, they're still losing. And it's kind of sad, you know. The other teammates they 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 truly suck. They're not good at the sport, and I feel like I don't even think they had a coach. They didn't have a coach with them. Can you do that? I don't think you can do that in real life. You need a coach. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, they need to get a coach. They need to learn some skills. But apparently they're not um, in the next part of the series, so just forget those characters. And um, after the match ends and everyone's outside, we get another conversation between Sho and Tobio. And Sho says that he's going to beat him. And Tobio says, tells him like to become strong and everything. And here's a question. Why do sports animes always have a past between the main characters? You know, at the end, we get a time skip to high school and a plot twist. Tobio and Sho will be on the same team now. And that's actually pretty cool because you would expect them to be rivals, but they're on the same team, so they have to work together. And there was also a scene um, before that with Sho training, or I don't know if it was after that. I don't even care. There was a scene with Sho and uh, Sho training and his teammates training and everything. Um, let me see if I have anything else to say. You know, animes like this make me wish I would have taken an interest in sports when I was younger, and I'm about to be going off to college, so I'm not really sure how much sport stuff you can do there, but maybe I could learn something there, learn basketball or volleyball or something. I mean, these sports seem somewhat interesting. But uh, what did you think about Haiku? It wasn't perfect, but I'd say it has potential, and I think it does need like powers to become interesting and everything. Like some sports animes can go without powers, but eventually it's kind of boring. Um, I've been to like baseball games and stuff; it's somewhat interesting. Football games are really boring, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, if you like this review, please like the video. Uh, if you want to stalk me or anything, Facebook and Twitter are below. Peace.